Aloha, I'm Nick Anderson, Director of Regional Emergency Shelter Team, and I want to welcome you to our 10th annual Luau. We're celebrating 10 years of warmth, nourishment, and compassion. REST has provided 10 winter shelter seasons from 2010 to 2020, and in that time we've provided 25,000 shelter beds and 50,000 meals to those in need. And that's been made possible by the support of our community, so thank you very much. We have some very special stories to share with you on this video. You're going to hear from some of our volunteers who have been with REST from the beginning. You're going to hear from some of our guests who have stayed in REST shelter and have been able to move on to experience new success and new hope in their lives. And you're going to get to see some authentic hula dancing. So I hope you'll enjoy our 10th annual luau. Thank you and welcome. Aloha kane and wahine out in interweb land. We are the Ka'anoli'i dancers and we are so happy to be here today to um, support the 10th anniversary of REST and their fundraiser this year. We would like to bring a little bit of aloha to you and we are going to start with a lovely number called Papalina Lahi Lahi. I'm Patrick. And I'm Doreen Lawher. We've been involved in REST for about eight years, maybe a little bit more, but um, REST is kind of dear to our heart um, because they, they take care of the homeless in our community that have nowhere else to go during the cold winter months. And um, we've been involved in the community with um, the rescue mission for what, over 15? At least 15 years. 15 years or so. And um, this is this is something that's been needed in our community for a long time. And, uh, we're really grateful and thankful that we're able to uh, be a part of it. So, I think that's it. Our first former REST guest that you're going to hear from is Susan. And we always love Susan. She's just a, a force of positive energy. She always had a great attitude. She's always willing to help, whether help with uh, help the staff and volunteers or help the other guests. And we're so excited for Susan. She's having uh, great things um, in her life. She's, she's got a job. She has her own place. 
She just got a car. So we're really excited for you to get to know her. Here's Susan. But if they hadn't been for rest, giving me a place to lay down and then caught me away my belly, I probably wouldn't be here right now. Um, I didn't ask for a handout. I asked for a handout, and that's exactly what they did for me, was give me this handout. And so, um, you know, I have a job. I work five days a week. And December 13th of 2019, I finally got my own place. And I'm still there. Matter of fact, um, I was able to pay up my rent until the, the end of November and still have enough money to do it even further. Wow. And so, uh, yeah, if it wasn't for God and rest and people believing in me, I probably wouldn't be where I am right now. Mm -hmm. So, thank you. Hi, my name is John Geyser. I'm on the board of directors for REST. I've been on the board for several years now, and I'm currently the vice president. Uh, there's uh, perhaps two reasons why I joined REST. One is uh, because of my location of my business here in downtown Yuba City. I'm aware of the homeless problem in our area, probably more than most people. And I have uh, compassion for what I see. And also, not so long ago, I ran across a, a verse in Proverbs chapter 29 that says, the righteous consider the cause of the poor. Now, I don't think I've attained into righteousness, at least not on my own, but I hope to one day, I hope God will bring me there as he conforms me to the image of Jesus. And how could I get there unless I do consider the cause of the poor? And so I am in a good position uh, financially and uh, physically, location-wise, to help and to help people here. But at, at some point a few years ago, I wanted to be part of something bigger because it definitely takes a team effort to address this problem. It's, it's so prevalent now in our, our country and it's so serious that it takes churches and government and private entities and private citizens coming together, uh, to, to working together to make a difference. And I think we really are. And we hope to do even better in the years to come. And certainly with your help and your prayers, I think we'll do just that. Thank you. Our journey takes us now to the island of Kauai, to Hanalei Bay with Hanalei Moon. When you see Wow. 
The next former REST guest you're going to hear from is Eric. Eric's had a lot of challenging experience in, in his life, but thanks to groups like REST and his faith, he's moving forward. And through REST, I got to know Eric as a client. I got to serve him at the shelter. But since then, I've come to know him also as a friend. Our families spend time together. Our kids play together. We go to church together. So it's just a wonderful example of one of the many cases in which REST has brought people together for everyone's good. And so here's Eric. Hi, my name's Eric. I just want to say a few things about the REST program. Um, when I was homeless, they would um, transport me to warm shelter and a warm meal every night. Um, transport me back. There would be breakfast and snacks and um, they even help with clothes, bathroom supplies, and um, it kept me out of the rain, kept me warm. For several or several years during the winter, um, and um, even till today, some of the staff members, Nick, and um, still help me with storages. Um, bring me to church. Um, just a lot of help whenever I need it, and um, they've even helped house me. Um, through the HSP program, so me and my son have housing now. We're um, in permanent housing until today. I'm still communicating with staff, and um, they still help. One of them even would bring breakfast in the morning on Sunday from their own house. It was just really a good deal. So I just want to say thanks and um, thank you. I'm Diane Bryant and I volunteer for REST. I have been doing it since um, REST uh, started doing it. I did some overnights and I have done uh, transition and uh, I really like to do it. It takes a while to really get into it because you don't know what to expect. Um, but as you get to know our guests, then you start to um, build bonding friendships with them. I have quite a few friends that have been homeless and who have also found homes. And um, I can't tell you how wonderful it feels to see someone really finally get their life organized. Or uh, maybe they had to overcome some addictions and they do that and then they get jobs and then they get a place to live. It is just so gratifying. And um, I like it because um, they're very responsive. They, you know, at first they were kind of skeptical about what kind of people come to sit with them while they rest. But once they get to know you, it's, it's mutual bonding. It's wonderful. Our next former rest guest that you're gonna hear from is Melissa. And we all love Melissa. When she was in the shelter, she always had a very sweet disposition, very caring and kind to the guests, the staff, the volunteers. And we were all cheering for her. And Melissa showed real effort, real determination um, to move from the situation she was in towards a better, uh, healthier life for her and her family. And so we're really proud to give you the opportunity to meet Melissa. Go. Hi, my name's Melissa. Um, I stayed with REST um, the 2018-2019 season. Um, when I got there, I was very lost. Um, I had spent the past couple years in a severe addiction, and I had lost everything. Everything I, everything I hold dear to myself, I, I lost it all. Even the trust and the love of my kids, I lost even that. So when I came to REST, I found people that cared for me and wanted to know how I was and genuinely loved me right where I was despite my mistakes and where I had been. It wasn't just a hot meal and a place to sleep. It was 
another level of love that I don't think I had ever known before. Um, it planted a seed in, in me, in my heart, that there was hope for me to move forward. Um, rest became my family, um, became my only routine, and I looked forward to every day of being able to just fellowship with these people. And the people that served us weren't there just to give us a hot meal and a place to sleep. They genuinely cared, sat down and talked to us like we were friends forever. And that meant so much to me because every time they cared to ask how I was doing and encouraged me to keep moving forward, the hope of my heart built. And the more, the longer I was at the rest program, the more I had the hope and the strength to keep moving forward. And I knew in my heart that the rest program, it just gave me my life back. If it weren't for rest, I do not believe I would be here. Um, coming from a place where I overdosed and died once, that was the last straw for me, was to be in the rest program and keep working towards something better every day. I remember every day at five o'clock, it was time to go back to the shelter and get ready for rest. And I looked forward to it because I was safe. I was at peace. I wasn't on the streets like so many people were. And being there gave me the hope that I needed to keep moving forward. And, um, and then I got into a program and things started to improve. And I'm at a place now where I'm about to get my own place and bring my babies home. And it all started with the rest program. It all began there. And, you know, it came full circle, full circle for me too because when rest came back to the bride church, I wasn't staying there homeless. I got to serve people that were in the position, that are already in the position that I was then. And being able to pour into these people and share that love with them just meant so much to me. And that was the first time I realized this is what it means to be the hands and feet of Jesus because this is what he would have done. So the work done at rest is just enormous. It touches so many lives. And speaking from a place of being able to give back and serve again, you know, a lot of people want to volunteer for rest, wanting to change someone's life. But what really happens is it changes yours. And it takes a lot of work to do, but it's an amazing ministry, and I fully support it. And I'm so grateful to be able to sit here and say, I did it. And it started with rest. And now we journey to the big island of Hawaii with a very popular number, My Little Grass Shack. However, we have a little twist. We would like you all to stand up and dance along with us. So we have a couple of moves that we'd like to teach you. Ladies, please join me. So I want to go back to My Little Grass Shack is the uh, first phrase. So your right hand is on your hip and your left hand is over your shoulder like you're hitchhiking. And I want to go back, just like that. Awesome. And then the walls of your grass shack come like this. We want to make sure that our fingers are closed because if the fingers are open, then the rain's going to come through. And you're going to bring the walls together, my little grass shack. The rest of it is pretty easy, so you can just follow along with us uh, on the video. And then at the end, we do our humu humu nuku nuku wapu wa'a, which is the Hawaii state fish. And you're going to put one hand over the other and your fins are going to go and up and down on the waves. So your humu humu nuku nuku wapu wa'a goes swimming by and goes swimming by. Awesome. And we have a couple of steps that we like to teach you. It's called a kaholo. You're going to take a step together, step together this way and a step together, step together this way. And it goes like this. One, two, three, together. One, two, three, together. All right, let's do that again. And one, two, three, together. One, two, three, together. And then we have a ka'o. Keep your knees slightly bent. 
and we're just going to move our hips side to side, nice and smooth, just like that. All right, awesome. Lesson's over. Let's get to dancing. My little grass shack. I want to go back. I want to go back to my little grass shack. In the air, I'll kick a whole flight. Come along, we're going to have some fun. It won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Cornwall. It's a grand old place that's always fair to see. I'm just a little Hawaiian and a homesick island boy. I want to go back to go my back fishing to boy. My fish and boy. I want to go, go back, back to a little my little grass shack. shack. In the air, I'll kick a Hawaii. Alright, here we go. Go go swimming by. Take it from the top. I wanna go back to my little grass shack. In the air, I'll kick a Hawaii. I wanna be with all the carne and fajita that I used to know. It won't be long till my ship will be sailing back to Kona. It's a grand old place that's always fair to see. I'm just a little Hawaiian and a homesick island boy. I want to go back to my EIA and boy. I want to go back to my little grass shack. In Kiana Kikua Hawaii. And you're going to go. Don't swim in my. us back again this year. It is our pleasure to come and be a part of this fundraiser, well, uh, well needed and uh, worthy organization. We are the Kaanoili Dancers. Thank you again and happy 10th anniversary rest. Aloha. Thank you so much for joining us for the 10th annual Rest Luau. We hope you've had as much fun as we have meeting our guests, our volunteers, and our lovely hula dancers. We'd like to thank our major sponsors that have made this event and rest possible. Jennifer Kohler, Witt and Sue Taylor, Geyser Pets, Hillcrest Catering, Bradley Optometry Incorporated, Adventist Health and Rideout, Gateway Pacific Contractors, Joseph and Rudel Bouchard, and Dennis and Diane Green. Thank you to everyone who has purchased a meal, has bought raffle tickets, every dollar, 100% goes to providing shelter for those in need, so thank you for being part of this event. We want to encourage you to check out the silent auction online as well as in person at the event. We'll have a live stream starting about 7.30 where we'll be um, announcing the approaching end of the auction and announce the raffle winners as we get closer to 8 and closing the uh, finally closing the auction announcing the winners, so we hope you'll check that out. Remember, you can even bid on Facebook. So you don't have to be at the event. You can bid on Facebook in the comments. Tell us what item you want and how much you're bidding, and we'll make sure that gets uh, added to, to the ongoing auction stream. So thank you so much for being a part of the 10th Annual Luau. Mahalo.